In this video, I'm going to show you how to add background images to WordPress in a few different ways. The first method you should try is go by going or using the customizer on your website. For that, you have to go to appearance and go to customize, which will bring you to the customizer inside your website. And this is a theme dependent method, but most themes should support a background feature. This is a sample blog post that I've created just to give an example. Go to the global options and go to the color options. And here I'll see the site background option. And if your theme supports it, you should see an option similar to this as well. Just click on this. You'll find a few different options to set the background, the color, the gradient, and also images. If I click the image option, I'll have the option of selecting a background image. I can click on it. I already have an image uploaded. You can drag and drop a new image, which you want to use as the background. Click on it select the image and that will be added as the background. This is the first method on how to add background images inside WordPress. The second method to add background images in WordPress is by using a cover block. This works only on specific posts and does not affect your entire website. Let me show you how to do that. On the blog post that you want to add or you add the image, just go to the plus icon and click and add the cover block. I'll type it in. And the cow block is a special kind of block which has an image as a background. You can just go to the media library and select the actual image you want to use as the cover background. Click on it, select it, and that will be added here. And then you can write a title here on this page. For example, I'll say flowers. And now this will be a cover block. You can also customize this by clicking the block itself, then going to the design options. And then you can change the overlay opacity. If you want to make it darker, you can just drag it around and keep it subtle. You can also apply duotone filters. So if you have images on the background, you can use this. And if you want to make the background really light, make sure the text is formatted correctly. So I'll just double click the text and select it, go into text colors and set it to a dark color so that there's enough contrast between this. I'll click update post. And once it's updated, I'll open up the post in a new tab just to demonstrate that this is how it looks. So this is how you can add a background image inside WordPress which doesn't affect the rest of the site, but only a specific post. The next option to add background images inside WordPress is by using a page builder like Seedprod. It's free to get started. You can install it on your website like any other plugin. Once installed, you can start the landing page builder. And this is what the interface is like. If I want to add the background images to the broadest section, I'll just go outside and click the broadest section. You'll notice the sections here. That means the section will be affected by the changes I make. And inside these options, I have the background color options, gradient options, and also image options. I'll click and use my own image, select the pattern and select it. And this will be added to my website. As you can see, if I'm using the theme builder functionality inside Seedprod, I can make these changes to any template and this will affect my entire website. That's also possible with Seedprod. So you can go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to Seedprod so you can check it out. So this covers the top three methods to add background images in WordPress. But if you want more control over adding images to your background inside WordPress, that means having different images on different posts, adding different images based on category and a lot more control like that, then you need a specialized plugin for the job. And the best plugin we found for the job is called Full Screen Background Images Plugin. It's a fantastic plugin. I'll leave a link in the description and also on the screen so you can go check it out. And it allows you to add images to your background, control the images, how they scale, and what pages get what images, and also choose different images based on categories. You can find the full set of features on the website itself. So I'll leave a link in the description of the video and also on the screen. So you can go check this website out and purchase the plugin if you need to. Otherwise, use any of the methods I've just mentioned to add background images in WordPress. Make sure to subscribe for more WordPress tutorials and I'll see you in the next one.